cop. I, I knew he was a cop uh, coming close, and uh, he told me, as soon as I was just walking up, my clerk said, and I said, show me authority to order, that you have to order me over there. And he said, and I said, show me your authority to get over there. And then he said, well, I said, get over there. Right, so he was trying to, he was really trying to, like, but, push, but see, push the button. But see, no, the thing is, I was not obeying him, okay? I, I was telling him, you show me your ID. He couldn't take that. All right, he doesn't want anybody questioning him. He does the question, and as soon as someone questions him back, he can't deal with that, because his ego is too damn weak, okay, to deal with that. But that's the, the you want, that's not all of them. That's the one, that's the one out of 10 that should not be on the force. But yeah, some guys are like that. There's no doubt about it. But, 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 but if you are, if you are, you know, if you do happen to confront such an officer, what's your best plan of action? Do what he says. Do what he says. So, so even if they try to arrest you, like allow them to arrest allow you? Allow them to arrest Because they're going to arrest you anyway. But they're going to arrest you after you get broken bones. Okay? You're not going to get out of arrest. If you try talking out of arrest or fighting your way out of arrest, you're making it worse, right? You're going so to don't try to run, fight, or anything? Uh, they never run. Never run. Excuse me. Are you? Are you there? Are you there? Uh, Captain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Bob. So you should never run. Never. Or what are you going to gain from running? Listen, I'll tell you one thing that enrages a cop. He's got to run after you. All right. Uh -uh. But you're not technically fighting him. You're not, you're not, you're not putting him against all He's got to run after you. All right? Cops don't like to run. All right? And it's showing a lot of disrespect for them. You're not following so if their... They're, so if they plan on arresting you, you just go along with it. Go along with it. And deal with it later. Get your lawyer. In fact, it might be better for you if he arrests you and it's, it, it's, it was an illegal arrest. Then your lawyer, you know, you got a lawsuit. But you quote. So and they can dismiss awesome. the charges. Possibly if they're, if they're false charges, but you gain nothing. Unless you can tell me, you tell me, what would you gain by resisting arrest? Well, there were no, like, but if there were no, like, actual grounds for arrest. If there were no actual grounds, what would you gain by resisting arrest? I see. Just like, you know, like, There's obviously, no. you, you don't want to be, like, you don't want to have a record. You, wanna, you don't want to have on your record. So you no, uh -uh. Being arrested does not give you a record. Being convicted gives you a record. Okay? So, you can be arrested, and if you're not convicted, no one will ever know. Alright? There's nothing you gain. So, if, by also if, they, so if they do have an arrest, you're just allowed to... Yes, allow sir. Them. Put your hands behind your back, and be a perfect gentleman or a uh, gentleman. Alrighty? Believe me. Get that out of your head right now about any type of resistance. There is no, nothing positive to be gained from that. Alrighty? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how long did it hold you? Was it okay? Uh, no, no, about 10 or 11 hours. Uh, normal. Except that they take the whole week to draw Yes, But you guys, you guys, you're, you're, I'll say one thing here. You're so, the uh, bunk bed there is, is we have this much cushion. Philadelphia well, still has just a plain steel, baby. And uh, so I, I just... You know, no down. eagles! So, uh, <laughs> I had no problem. It was fine. And the food is all... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows where I am. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I am very, very secluded. Okay. And I have had no contact with anyone in the Philadelphia Police Department since I moved up here. Okay. Nothing against them, but that was just my choice to be uh, very secluded and, yeah. uh, and have this different life. What do you hope to gain, or what do you hope to gain as you being here in your home? What kind of message do you want to give, send out to the, the people in America and in the world? That we are, we are all the 99%, okay? Including me, including all the cops around here, and it's the 1% that we're out here to get rid of. And they're, they're hearing us. Okay, the reason this thing was squashed, the revolution starts little by little, and those in power, they don't want to strike too early. Because if they strike too early, then they're going to put the whole thing on. So they just wait until, they, they're hoping it dies down. So they wait and wait and wait until it gets so big that they say, wow, if we don't stop it now, it's going to continue to grow. So they realized this thing was only going to grow. More and, more. and then they said, we've got to stop it now. And that's what happened here. And they were successful to some degree. But, uh, they're still being here. They're still doing this all around the country, all around the world. And I, they're not going to stop it, okay? This is not, in the 60s, they stopped us, okay? They ain't stopping us now. Do, are you planning to, to go to any other states that are... <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I, I've had offers already, and I... <laughs> th this has blown me away, first of all. Uh, I, I had, I expect, sure, I've ex I expected publicity in New York. I've been away, I've been secluded for eight years, and uh, the mass media, I don't know what uh, Facebook or Twitter is, or any, any of that Twitter. stuff. Twitter. <laughs> you know, that's all, all new to me. And uh, but now I realize that, well, I was talking to one guy in here, and then like an hour later, a guy came up, I just saw you on the internet. What do you mean? I, I just talked to this guy an hour ago. And, and I really, you know, communications now is, is so... Yeah, I uh, <laughs> and uh, but it's great. You see, this is a, the technology of the computer and all these cameras. Uh, phone, phones now that pick, take picture. Phones now that take video. I mean, this is true. The, the human being is so intelligent. In all, in medicine, in science, in all fields, we have advanced and we have the mind to continue to advance. But you know, we still handle one thing. We still handle conflict the way the caveman did. We fight. And so every other area of life, we have changed with our intelligence and knowledge, but we still handle our differences by killing each other. And that's got to change. And uh, it just, uh, I, I don't get it where we, we've made such advances everywhere except in conflict with each other. All righty, guys. <laughs> Captain Lewis, how would you feel about running for uh, public office? No, I'm, I'm done. No? <laughs> I'm, a nature, I'm a nature guy now. Fair enough. Yeah. Thank you. I swim nude and the whole thing. <laughs> it can't beat that.